A dozen people were indicted for allegedly operating a fake charity that used kids to raise money. Uh, the indictment claims Georgia Peach Youth Club was using money to fund criminal street gang activity. Uh, Fox News' Janice Hughes spoke with a man in Milton who says a boy with the so-called charity came to his house last year, but something seemed off. And then a couple minutes later, something clicked in my brain that it didn't seem right. And so I thought I should go check on him. There was just a feeling he couldn't shake as he turned away a boy who was selling items. The man who asked us not to use his name said the boy who showed up at his front door was maybe 10 years old and looked nervous. He was with a group called Georgia Peach Youth Club. I went to the front of the house and looked outside and my neighbor across the street was uh, talking to him. I went outside. I leaned down to the little boy and I said, are you OK? You seem scared. And I said, well, where's your, you know, who are you with? And he, he pointed down the street and he said he was with one of his friends that was his age. The man says the boy told him he was dropped off in the neighborhood by an adult. Still sensing something wasn't right, the man says he called Milton police. According to investigators, his suspicions would turn out to be correct. What they uh, were receiving were complaints about uh, young kids that were out, young boys that were out there going door to door during school hours. And that's really why are these uh, children out here during school hours? And that precipitated an investigation. On Tuesday, Georgia Attorney General Chris Carr announced the indictment of 14 people tied to the Georgia Peach Youth Club. The indictment claims the 14 people operated a labor-intensive human trafficking ring while pretending to be a charity. The money was allegedly being used to fund criminal street gang activity. According to the indictment, children from economically disadvantaged areas of Atlanta were recruited to sell candy or other food, and in return, they were told they would receive prizes or trips, but that didn't happen. The suspects are charged with human trafficking, racketeering, criminal street gang activity, charity fraud, and money laundering. The indictment also alleges the children, who were sometimes minors, were dropped off in neighborhoods to go door-to-door -door for hours without any adult supervision. Janice Yu, Fox 5 News.